Hello, it's Jason Gorman again from Codemanship, and this is your bonus Code Smell of the Week. Um, we're still looking at divergent change, so we still have our account class, which has two different responsibilities. We want to move the method that generates the XML string into a separate class, but as many people rightly pointed out, um, it's not ideal to have a delegating method on the account uh, class um, that uh, actually handles this. So this time we're going to do it without the delegates, so we're going to split them completely apart so the account has no knowledge at all um, of XML serialization. Now this one's going to be a little fiddlier. What I'm going to do is, as before, I'm going to create our XML serializer class. So let's create a new class called account XML serializer. Okay. And because I'm paranoid, I'm going to run the tests. Not that I could have possibly have broken anything, but the number of times I have broken anything when I thought I possibly couldn't have, um, I've lost count of. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do something very smelly. I'm going to create a public field, account export serializer. Like so. So that's just so that we have a target for move method. OK, and of course I'm going to run the test because I'm paranoid. Good to be paranoid when you're refactoring. So we're going to move this to XML method, but this time we're not going to keep the original method as a delegate. We're going to get rid of it completely. OK, so now knowledge of XML serialization has almost gone. Bear with me. And of course we run the tests. If we look now in our test code, what it's doing is it's using this, accessing this public variable to call the to XML method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract a field like so, and of course run the tests, and then I'm going to change this assignment. So instead of using, instead of accessing the field on account, I'm just going to create a new account XML serializer like so. And then, of course, save that and run the tests. So far, so good. We can now go back into our count class and we can uh, delete this line of code. Save that and run the tests. So now our account class has zero knowledge of XML serialization. It's not even delegating to this account XML serializer. You may have spotted, of course, that now we have a test method inside uh, our bank account tests that no longer um, has anything to do really with the bank account's responsibilities. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up by doing something similar but a little more brute force. So I'm going to create, uh, let's create a new class. Um, oh, sorry, cancel. Sorry. Let's create a new test case. We want it to be JUnit4 and let's call it account XML serializer tests. Okay, and of course I'm paranoid, so I run the tests. And we want to move this method now, strictly speaking, to move this method, what we should do is declare a field of type account XML serializer tests and then move the test method across and do all of that. But frankly, because there are no fields being accessed and no dependencies, this is pretty much a stateless method. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to copy and paste. So, uh, oops, sorry. So we're just going to save that. And run test. So now we've already got one test, so obviously what I need to do here is run all of the tests. There you go. So now we've got two test fixtures, each testing the different distinct responsibilities, and those responsibilities have been completely split out. So our XML serializer does its job, and account does its job with no knowledge of XML serialization whatsoever. I thank you.